everybody. Yeah, got a few friends with me today. Wow, do you recognize them? Yeah, we got a butterfly. Wow, look at those beautiful wings. Wow, look at the other side. So pretty, all the colors. Great. Good. I have my worm who's been eating the one apple. Yep. Yum, yum. Chomp, chomp. Just like the little caterpillar. That's right. Sure you did. Yeah. Good. What about this guy on my shoulder over here? Yeah. <laughs> There's a ladybug just resting on my shoulder. No big deal. No big deal. <laughs> just hanging out. Wow. He's so sweet. Or she. Could be. I don't know. Just because it's a ladybug doesn't mean it's a girl. You just don't know. Here's another friend. Yep. That's a dragonfly. You're right. You're right. Look at this long body. This one's a puzzle. You can take it apart, but you can see the space here for his long body and tail. Wow. He's got wings. Two wings on the left. Two wings on the right. And then his head, a big antenna, and some legs. Wow, neat. I also have another puzzle here to show you. Hmm, do you know who that guy is? Yeah, that's an ant. Lots of ants we see around here, right? This one's a puzzle also. You can take off his, what is that? That's right, those are his antenna. That's right. And then look, here's his head, his front legs, the legs in the middle here. Look at that. That's his body in the middle. Yep. He's got legs in the back. Yep. Wow, how many legs does he have? I wonder if we can count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six legs, you're right. Do you know what all of these um, animals have in common? They're all bugs. That's right, they're all bugs. And I show you all of those because today I wanna read to you this story that's called, I Love Bugs. <laughs> Look at this kid. What's he dressed as? Look at his hat. Wow, okay, he's also wearing a backpack. I wanna show you on the back of this book Oh, it shows the back of the kid. That's right, because there's his hat. And look, what is that that's on his back? Mm -hmm. It's a backpack, and you can see the, the straps hook on over his shoulders there, just like you guys wear to school, a backpack. Mm -hmm. I wonder what he's got inside that backpack. Mm, we'll find out when we read the story. The story is called I Love Bugs by... Philemon Sturgis, okay, and it's illustrated by Sherry Halpern. Oh, boy. Hey, look, I see some of the um, bugs that I brought today. Yeah, there's that dragonfly, like the puzzle. Mm-hmm. And look, that that's right, that's the butterfly. And hey, look at this guy down here. Mm-hmm. That is a ladybug. I don't see an ant. Let me see. I'm going to turn it around to the back and we'll see if we can find an ant. Hmm. I don't think I see one. But maybe on the inside of the book. Let's read the book today. It's called I Love Bugs. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, it looks like they've taken pictures of some bugs. This one's called a woolly bear, a millipede, a water bug, spider, grasshopper. Sometimes we call that a cricket, but you know, they're kind of a little bit the same. Grasshopper. There's the dragonfly. Yep. Beetle, like a ladybug. She's a beetle. Caterpillar. And a bee. I love bugs. Wow, what do you think that is? Yep, that's a camera. Oh, so maybe he's been taking pictures 
of the bugs that he sees. Cool. Bugs, bugs, bugs. I like bugs. Bugs that creep. Bugs that crawl. Wow. Is that like a centipede or a millipede? And there's that woolly bear that we saw on the front. Bugs that hop or fly. I love to find them under rocks or watch them in the sky. <laughs> Cat, what's he doing? Yep, he's chasing that butterfly. <laughs> These bugs paddle. Do you know what paddle means? Paddle means that they use their legs to push themselves through the water. It's kind of like what we do when we're swimming. We use our arms and our legs to paddle through the water. This bug weaves. He's weaving a web. That's right, it's a web. Weaving his spider web. Some make honey. Those are honeybees. Some chew leaves. What, you, what is that? It's a caterpillar, you're right. Oh, and look, he is taking pictures. Wow. Others swoop and buzz around. Some bugs burrow underground. Oh, look, there they are. Those are ants. We didn't see a picture of them on the front or the back of the book, but we did find them inside the book. All right, and what's this that they live in? That's an ant hill. Mm -hmm. This one's like a bit of bark. The bark on the tree, and you see that he's a very similar color. This one's like a twig. Yeah, he's long and skinny like a twig, a little piece of the tree. Cicadas buzz a summer song. Crickets dance a jig. I like bugs that blink at night. What do we call those? Lightning bugs, yeah. Sometimes people also call them fireflies, but in my family, we call them lightning bugs because their little lights flash at night. Or bugs that flutter around the back porch light. Wow, have you ever seen bugs flying around the lights outside at nighttime? Mm -hmm. They like to, um, they're drawn to that light. Okay, and that's a Luna moth, by the way, Luna moth. Mm -hmm. But this bug is the best of all. It's Ladybug. She loves to crawl. <laughs> Is that a real ladybug? No. Bugs, bugs, bugs. I love bugs. Oh, some more pictures. There's the ant. Yeah, he took a picture of the ant. And the praying mantis that looks like a twig. And the cicada that sings a summer song and a cricket that dances a jig. There's a real ladybug. And a firefly that flashes at night. Who's that? That's right, that's his baby sister. That's right. And the Luna moth, the moth that looked like the tree colors. And a deer fly that buzzes around. Wow. That's a great story. Do you like bugs? I do. I like bugs, as long as I don't have to touch them. <laughs> but sometimes I do touch them, because I know that sometimes it's just a bug that's not going to hurt me or anything, and so um, I don't mind touching them. Um, sometimes, when I go outside, I might be able to catch a bug. And if you could see inside my jar, yeah. Well, this is not a real ladybug, but I might be able to catch a real ladybug outside. 
and then I could put it in the jar so that I could look at it. And I have a scientific tool here. This is a tool that scientists use. Do you know what it's called? It's called a magnifying glass. And they use this so that then they can look at very small things and make them look very big. How about this? I'll show you. Look at there. Did you see how much bigger my eye got? Wow, you can see that, can't you? Yeah. And I can see that too. And when I look at something small with my magnifying glass, it makes it look so much bigger and it makes it easy to see. So like right now when I'm looking inside my jar and I can see that ladybug, the ladybug's kind of small. But in the magnifying glass, it looks much bigger and it makes it easy to see. Now, if you decide to go outside and catch some bugs so that you can look at them up close, even if you don't have a magnifying glass, if you catch them and you put them in some kind of container, then you could look at them up close. You could look at them like this, okay? But always remember that bugs live where? Outside, that's right, they live outside. So when you have had a chance to um, enjoy looking at that bug and learning about that bug, be sure you take it back outside, back where you found it, so that you can put it back where it lives, so that it can enjoy the rest of its life out there. Bugs don't um, live inside our houses. Um, that's not where they're supposed to be anyway. And so we want to take them back outside so that they can uh, live in the place that's comfortable for them, where they can find shelter and food and water that's for them. Okay, so let's do that. Make sure that you take them back out. Um, be sure to go outside and maybe, oh, I remember in the story here that the little boy, uh, found some bugs in lots of different places. They were doing different things. He found them on plants and on rocks. And then he even found some that were under rocks. So don't forget to look under rocks and you might be able to see some bugs, okay? He also found some bugs in the sky. Yep. He found some bugs in the water he found some of them making their own home, right? Yeah, do you know what a spider does with that web? Why does he make that web? Mm, that's right, it's sticky so that he can catch his dinner. That's exactly right, wow. Again, some of them are on plants, in the dirt and the sand. Yeah, remember the ants live, they dig those tunnels down in there? Yeah, so that might be a place to look for them. Oh, look, these bugs were way up in a tree. Mm -hmm. Had to look in a tree. Down in the grass. And flying in the sky, even at nighttime. Wow. So you might want to go and take a look outside at night to see if you see some bugs. And then you never know. You might find a bug as cute as this inside. <laughs> Wouldn't that be fun? Great. All right, well, I hope you have some buggy adventures out there, and remember to be safe, okay? Take an adult with you, and um, enjoy some nature outside, looking for some bugs, learning about those bugs. Bye.